Oh my gosh. Normally we're um, a couple that don't really care about him getting messy. It's just like, it is what it is. And then it would just come off like a scam. Her wife has never been with another man. What are you doing, you silly monkey? I don't know. So we'll go with good morning, your teen teensy winky. Your teensy winky. Oh man, this is good. This is a good start to the day. All right, <laughs> here we go. I'll try and remember the topics. <laughs> it's Sunday. Again, we don't, I'm, I'm trying not to vlog on Sundays, but I am for this video, for this real estate video. What is going on? The color is so bad. Hang on a minute. So it's not all blurry. Bit better. What a start to the video. What a start. I guess this is where we are. Um, all right, so the home decor video. Once Shay and Rugi leave for church, I'm going to start clearing the laundry room out and painting. Wait for that to dry and then we can do the other tidbits. But I still need to go and get the butcher block today. Uh, and I also remembered that actually my math was terrible. The video, the campaign for this isn't meant to go live today. It go li goes live tomorrow. And I have, I've gone over budget on what I would typically spend for a video. Right, so I think the budget's going to be like somewhere between six and seven hundred. Sorry, the expenses are going to be like six or seven hundred. Um, and this campaign isn't a direct paid. It's based on how many views you get. So if the video does poorly, then we're going to be in the hole. But if it does well, which also brings me to the point that I haven't, I don't know what my hook is for the video yet, which is the most important part. It's kind of like on YouTube, you could make you could make a 20 minute long video and you could spend two weeks working on it. But if the thumbnail is trash and the title is trash, none, nothing else really matters. Unless it's, you know, something that people share all the time. So I need to spend some time working on the hook, which is great. But then I, I wrote a couple of things down this morning that I thought would be good to come across, come across, chat about mention first one there's a new guy that was working at the gym this morning and over the past like i can't remember like, how many years ago it was now i had this idea i was like if if i can see someone's put effort into something i should take the effort or make the effort to compliment them on whatever it is so this guy has like a, a half decent outfit it looks like he took you know a little bit of time to make sure he's dressed up looking nice so i complimented him on his outfit I said something along the lines of, uh, the fit looks good. Fit. Who says fit? I say fit, but like when I say it out loud now, it just kind of sounds stupid, doesn't it? And it doesn't hurt you. It doesn't hurt me. It's only good for the person receiving it, except actually this morning it was kind of like WTF Ollie because I complimented him and he said, no problem. So I repeated myself because I was like, maybe you didn't hear what I said and got the same back again. No problem. So that was good. That was really good. <laughs> and then I had some thoughts on. It, do you, I don't know if you remember the other day or if you even saw it the other day. I put out a video and I mentioned the brand Bulgari or Bulgari in the video. And a lot of people said that on the next video down on TikTok was an ad for Bulgari which means that the RPM, which is the dollar amount I would earn per thousand views or that TikTok would pay me per thousand views, should have increased on my video because it, was, it preceded an ad. Right, so TikTok obviously said, all right, this is a pretty valuable video and links in well to this ad. So they placed the ad next. And when I saw that, I had the idea to put in something about a Sony speaker that I had. Uh, so I put that in the next video. The video didn't do particularly well. I guess we can just look right now. And which one is it? It is this one. That's not where I go, is it? Here, creator center, creativity program beta. And I thought that that would increase the amount I earn from that video. So increase that RPM. So it did 45,000 views, so not very good at all. Well, I know that that's a lot of views, but in comparison to the other videos, is it in 
things. Why isn't it here? That doesn't make any sense. So it is, it was that video, season two, part four. On, if this is what I think it is, this is grotesque. Yeah, season two, part four. From this video, this is absolutely outrageous. I don't understand this. It's got 45,000 views, but only 6,000 of those qualified. And a qualified view is the one person can only count as one view, and the video has to be watched for at least five seconds. So the RPM, I'll screenshot it now, RPM is 61 cents, which means for every thousand views I'd earn 61 cents. And the estimated rewards out of that, I've earned $3.54. And then, this, the, the video before that, 35 cents per thousand views. Absolute trash. And like 1.2 million qualified views, RPM of 41 cents means from 1.2 million views, I earned just shy of $500. I mean, like this, this, you know, that kind of money is nothing to scoff at. Oh, look. Hello? Do you imagine Tony yelling at you? Uh, oh, he's in the window! <gasps> Hi, Woogies! Oh, he's in his car. Hi, Woogies! See ya? <laughs> Hi, Woogies! Okay, I'll just finish this thought and then I'll come in. Alright, bye. Alright, bye. I'll see you in a minute, Woogs! It's <laughs> in the window. <laughs> uh, okay. Then, yeah, so... We'll try it again and see if we can get something else from it in terms of the, the Sony speaker idea. Um, so let me, I'll tick those off. And then I've got some automation ideas that I want to work on. But we'll talk to those when I start doing this. I'm going to go in, help cook breakfast, get them ready, ship them out the door, and then I'll be free. Just kidding. Hello, hello. A uh, slight change of plans. The wife and child have not gone to, what's it called, church. So, our situation is such that uh, we're going to do it with them in the house. Which means Rugi is probably going to make quite a few appearances as we do this. But it'll be fun. We'll be, it, it's going to be difficult, but it'll be fun. <laughs> uh, so, I'm just going to get a video of what this looks like beforehand. Maybe I should open it first. Oh, probably. Yeah, we're going to keep the lights on just for show. Pretty scrubby. Great, that's nice. All right, so we've got our first shot. And now. But I didn't get the shots of cleaning this out. So I think actually this camera angle is not good because I should be showing what I'm seeing inside as I pull everything out. Like, is that better? Like this door is kind of in the way, isn't it? But at least now you can see me pulling the stuff. Can you? If there's something that's been really good from my previous types of content is that I have tons of lighting options. But, you know, I think, I think lighting is one of those things when I talk about quality on TikTok versus authenticity. I think lighting is one of those things that you can get away with making sure it's perfect or having it really good because I don't think people see 
I think just lighting, I'm not saying I'm lighting this scene perfectly, but lighting a scene, I think is just the first thing you can do for quality that make it doesn't, that doesn't make it look like it's too high quality. All right, so let's put, for now, let's just stick you beauties. I don't know how long you'll last for at 100% intensity, but. Okay, start you off at 80. Put you here, son, and you can go there and then we have some more lighting options if needed all right so first thing is just tidying out this bag of bones place this is our detergent great Oh my gosh. This is our folder of everything important in our lives. Um, yeah, the automation things that I mentioned this morning, that, like, well, yeah, briefly mentioned, was, I need that. Um, I'd like a automation on my phone that Create, oh God, let me think about this. You know what, I'll just read what I sent the dude. I'd like an automation to write a list item to an Apple Notes note, preferably via H-E-Y-S-I-R-I. -I. Hang on, let me go and get one of the dogs. Lila. Come here, Lila. Okay, go. Go, no, no, out, out. Good girl. Okay, go, you're not, in, you're not in too much trouble. Smack, smack. <laughs> All right, I'd like a new note to be created at the beginning of each day titled whatever I want it to, and any H-E-Y-S-I-R-I. -I. Screw it. Hey, Siri. Did I get you? Because I got me. Sorry. Uh, so any, uh, whenever I say that command plus whatever else, um, that day there should be a new net, new note automatically created, and whenever I say that command, it adds an additional li list item to that. Um, and I want the the Siri bit to be as simple as possible. Like I don't want it to be Siri command and then add a new list item to voice note and then give the exact name. That would be really annoying because I'd have to remember what date it is and the exact format of that. So I sent a message to a dude on Fiverr and he says, it sounds kind of complicated, but I'm sure we can get it done. So we'll see what he's able to do. I'm hoping that he can. I also, if he can do this one, then I think I will want him to do another automation, which is, I wrote this down. Um, basically the same thing, but for top topics that I need to come back on. So like the Sony speaker thing that I mentioned earlier, I should have circled back on that a few days ago and I know there are lots of things that I say I'll come back to but I just forget to come back to just because I have other things on my mind and then 
I would ideally like to, you know, close these different loops because I'm not... We've talked before about actually how good those open loops are. So bringing up a topic and not finishing out the topic, how good that is for keeping people watching. But my intention isn't... Like, when I bring a topic up and don't finish out that topic, my intention isn't like a, just a tactic to keep you watching. It really is as though I plan on coming back to it another time. So that'll be good. And then each day, like in the morning, I would go through the daily planner and topics that I think would be good to discuss throughout that day. Or like, you know... Whoopsie daisy. Oh, Lila, I'm so sorry. Did I scare you? I was like, why did the light change so much? I must have hit the light switch. Oh, this little chainsaw thing I bought. I don't know why. My other thought is while I'm filming this, I should do shots as I go through. So like once I have everything out of here, I should do a shot of just it, like just the dryers in here. And then a shot of the space without the dryers, if I can get them out. I kind of show that progress. Honestly, I could pretty easily make this into about three or four videos. But I think at surface level, I mean, I thought this when I started doing this, when I had this idea to do this as a project, I thought about the fact that actually this will be super easy. It'll only take me a few hours. And I imagine that that is how viewers will think. They'll be like, why the hell did you chop this up into four videos? Oh, look. I have a load of drywall plugs, that's good. And while to me, splitting this into three or four videos is like, like I would enjoy the process of making it into four videos. I don't think other people would see it that way. And then it would just come off like a scam. Kind of a bit scammy. Scammy and scabby. Hi Lila. So then here I get a shot of what it looks like with nothing in it. Very nice shot, Oliver. Cool. And then I should probably get in and vacuum in around here, shouldn't I? Maybe get a shot of me pulling these out. I don't know if I mentioned this yesterday, but actually these being two different washer and dryers and at different heights, it might be the rise and fall of this. Maybe it'll just add to the kind of like authenticity. Like I, I don't know how many people, Lila, stop whining, please. You don't need, I just took you out. So you don't need to go out. Should I do it without those or should I start taking Lila? You you're fine. You do not need to go out. You just want to go upstairs. I know. No. That's enough. No more. What do you need? Belly tickles? You need belly tickles? What do you need? Oh, you want to go upstairs. Lila, no. I need to wash off these tops for sure. <laughs> Hmm. I, I think this is in a situation where I'm overthinking. I'll get some shots of me drilling out these things. I think that's pretty important. Mm. 
Yeah, let's do let's do that. Um, so I need the drill, and then I might do a body shot for these. So I'll put the camera on my chest. Yeah, let's do that. Hi, Lila. Dude, I can't believe all these tools that I got yesterday were only, I know $200 is still a lot of money, but only $200 for all these tools. And I know that it's, um, a, you know, this is $200 I've spent on this video for just these tools. But these are tools that I'll obviously have for a long time. I can't see 250 of the $300 I spent yesterday were on tools that I'll use again and again. So I can't really complain too much. This camera, by the way, I do hate doing free promotion for brands that have more than enough money to pay for things. And I'm not saying like in this moment, DJI should start paying me again because we have done a couple of deals together. But um, I'm more like sharing the camera stuff so that you know what I'm using. So this is the, did I put this on backwards? Oliver, you moron. It's the DJI Action 2 and I think it's such a good camera. The battery life is not very good. But for small clips, quick clips, I should should change my top and I should wear one of mine, shouldn't I? Things I don't like I don't like my tops because they're oversized under I don't like wearing them under hoodies. So that's why I didn't, but it's quite flipping warm now. So I'm gonna go and put that on. I'll I'll be right back. I think I was talking about this camera, I think, but oh gosh, look at that, that's so good, and it's tiny. Um, yeah, should be good. These normally come with a drill bit, don't they? I wonder if it's in this pack. That is weird. Why wouldn't it? Oh, is it somewhere else? No. That's Surely it has to be on here. They normally sit right here. That's pretty wild. I'm not being too stupid, am I? I feel like I am being stupid. I feel like it should definitely be in here. Like even for this impact driver. See, I know the name of that. Ryobi, you stiffed me. It's better than Ryobi giving me a stiffy. <laughs> oh my lord. Lack of day, pretty. <gasps> Get out of my camera. Okay. Pretend that didn't happen. Oh no, the mess in the baby toilet. Guess it's locked. Alright, so. A bit higher, maybe.
Oh, this is a good drill. Oh, no, I've realized something. Ow. I guess that was kind of a good shot with it dropping off. Um, I needed to show that I needed to get a drill. So I need to drill that back in and use a screwdriver, which means I need a screwdriver. Um, I'm thinking this one is perfect. That's going to be my screwdriver. Um, so I drill this back in. Dude, this drill, Shay, this drill sounds like it was made from Optimus Prime. Do you like Optimus Prime? Probably. Yeah. You're a big Optimus Prime fan, aren't you? Just ignoring. Okay, yes, yeah, so we have the shot. I'll take the drill out of the shot. And then, hi, hi Lila. I filmed me using the screwdriver. Be higher up. Oh, thank you, Rugies. <laughs> Watch out, Lila. Yeah, I think I could probably do something. I think I could probably do something bigger than this. Oh, thank you, Rugies. <gasps> thank you, Rugies. Shape, please keep that kid from distracting me. <laughs> no, that's all good. He'll probably be involved a lot. Uh, it's probably going to take me too long, isn't it? Well, this isn't ideal. Yeah. Well, this is going to take me a while. Okay, that is going to be my shot for going to get a drill. So now I come back. We have the drill. Um, I guess we've got, I'm just going to film it again, I guess. Damn it. Yes, that was on purpose. So that can be trashed. So can those screws, which I need a bin. And then next one is to get this shelf off. How would I do that first? To go for the supports and then the edges? Yeah. Okay, let's do the supports. How do I unlock it?
doesn't do it like a normal drill would. Guess what the hell's going on? That's good, that's always good. What are you? I wouldn't say. Oh, hang on. What on earth? Okay. Shay, I think it's fair to say I'm not good at DIY, but the DIY the dude in this house did before us, atrocious. But didn't his wife say he was good at this stuff? She did. I think her wife has never been with another man. doing over here? You look like you've got food in your mouth. Ruger, should you be playing with that? Thank you. Keep it off. Don't do it. Ruger. Thank you. Why won't you come out the wall? Okay, there you go. Just needed some elbow grease. <laughs> I, I forgot I'll have to fill those up, won't I? Do I need to flick you up as well? Oh my goodness, dude. One, two, buckle my sheen. Yeah, I hate that song. But it's always in my head for some reason. Oops, see Daisy? I think now I can just pull you off of here, can't I? Hello, Rooks! Oh, gosh. Ah! Oh, thank you, buddy. Oh, thanks, Rugi. That shelf is gross.